Congratulations, you are progressing in the St. Peter's Health Partners hiring process. St. Peter's Health Partners is the region's largest and most comprehensive not-for-profit network of high-quality, advanced medical care, primary care, rehabilitation, and senior services, as well as the Capital Region's largest private sector employer. Our team includes more than 12,500 employees in more than 185 locations across seven counties. We are excited you will join us soon. This short video has been crafted to assist you in successfully navigating the formal offer, pre-employment, and onboarding process. As we review the aligned tasks associated with this process, it is important to know that the order of completion for each step may change slightly based on the role you are being offered. Remember, however, all offers of employment are contingent upon successful completion of a background check, reference check, pre-employment physical, and drug screen, in addition to any position-specific requirements as previously outlined by your recruiter. For this reason, timing is important. Be sure to complete each step of the process within 48 hours of notification. Failure to do so may delay your start date. In order to complete the steps discussed here, you will need a computer. Cellular and or tablet devices will not work to complete the necessary functions. Contact information. References. St. Peter's Health Partners requires each new hire to provide five professional references to include two prior supervisors. Should you have difficulty with this requirement, please contact your recruiter for assistance your social security number, used for payrolling purposes. Now to begin. The first step is to provide your professional references. You can do so by logging into your personal email account associated with your St. Peter's Health Partners application. There, you will receive an email from St. Peter's Health Partners recruiting. Once you have read the email, Click on the link to input references into Skills Survey. Remember, five references are requested with a minimum of two supervisors. Should one or more of your references not have an email address, contact your recruiter immediately so that they can conduct a reference check by phone. Once your references have been completed and positively validated, you will be contacted by a St. Peter's Health Partners recruiter with details of your verbal offer. Again, please remember that these steps may vary slightly according to the position you are being offered. Once you accept your verbal offer, you will be asked to sign your official offer letter. You can do so by logging into your personal email account associated with your St. Peter's Health Partners application. There, you will receive an email from trinityhealth at myworkday.com. Congratulations, candidate you are receiving an offer. This email will contain a link which will bring you to your Workday account sign-in. Using your login credentials set up when first applying, enter your account. Should you have trouble accessing your account, please call 1-888-667-3003 for assistance. Once you have entered the system, complete all items identified with an orange exclamation mark. Click the blue button to e-sign your offer letter. Carefully review the offer details. It will contain your rate of pay, occupational health and onboarding appointments, as well as your start date and second day instructions. Should you find an error, please contact your recruiter for assistance. Once confirmed accurate, please scroll to the yellow start arrow section at the bottom of the page. Type your name into the signature field and click Apply. Then, click to sign using the blue Click to Sign button. Then, be sure to click the orange OK button on the next screen. If you have done this process successfully, you will see a large green check mark appear on your screen. Now, X out of the green check mark Congratulations window. Then, complete the listed tasks located to the bottom left of your screen. Here, you will be asked to add personal information. 
It is important that all information fields are completed and added carefully and accurately. Choose the replies that apply to you. Then click the orange OK button when complete. Now, X out of the successfully completed notification box. The next task is very critical and must be accurate. Here you are asked to add your national ID. Select the United States as your country. When adding national ID, be sure to select Social Security Number for proper payrolling purposes. Note, there is no issue date or expiration date associated with your Social Security Number. Once entered and accurate, click OK. Following entry of your national ID, you will need to complete your background check. This is a simple process. You can do so by logging into your personal email account associated with your St. Peter's Health Partners application. There, you will receive an email from HireRight titled St. Peter's Health Partners Background Verification Request. In the email, click on the blue button to start your background verification process within 48 hours or two business days of submitting the information required for your background verification, you will receive five additional emails, including your username and password in separate emails for your St. Peter's Health Partners Trinity Workday System account. It is critical that you save this information. If you do not see the emails, be sure to check your spam and junk folders prior to reaching out to your recruiter for assistance. Additionally, for the next step, be sure to work from a standard computer or laptop. Cellular devices, smartphones, and tablets will not function properly for the tasks ahead. From your computer, enter the email titled Candidate, here is your Workday username, and click on the link provided. This will bring you to the Pre-Employment Workday Login, blue screen. Here, you will be asked to log in using the credentials provided and then create a new password. It is critical that you save this information for future use. From here, click Let's Get Started and you will be brought to your Workday homepage. Go to your inbox where you will see eight onboarding tasks awaiting your attention. The first task is to complete your I-9. Once you have completed the information requested, click the green Submit button. Then click the orange Done button. Next, complete your review and or update of contact information task. Once you have reviewed and completed the requested information, click the green Submit button. Then click the orange Done button. The third task is to add or change your emergency contact information. Once you have reviewed and completed the requested information, Click the green Submit button. Here an Up Next pop-up will appear. Simply click the orange Done button to complete the Add or Change Your Emergency Contact Information task. The fourth task will ask you to provide your veteran's status information. Choose the response that applies to you. Click the green Submit button, then the orange Done button to complete this task. Next is the Disability Disclosure task. Choose the response that applies to you. Click the green Submit button, then the orange Done button to complete this task. The sixth task refers to the Code of Conduct. Click on the e-sign process using the blue box. Review the Code of Conduct in its entirety. Once you have read the information, scroll down to the yellow start arrow and type in your name to the appropriate field. Then select the blue Apply button. Continue scrolling to the second signature area. Type in your name if requested. Then click the blue Click to Sign button. Then click the green Submit button and finally click the orange Done button. The next task is to review your new hire information. Once you have reviewed the information provided, select I agree 
to all documents in the designated areas. There will be three documents in total. Click the green Submit button, then the orange Done button to complete this task. The eighth and final pre-employment task is to review the Conflict of Interest Policy. In the Conflict of Interest Policy, scroll to the first yellow Start Arrow. Using information from your offer letter, enter your title and organization information. Scroll down to the signature line and click on Signature. Type your name and click Apply. Then click to sign. Lastly, click the green Submit button and then the orange Done button to complete this task. Welcome to St. Peter's Health Partners. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. You have now completed the pre-employment tasks necessary for use in your in-person onboarding appointment as noted in your offer letter. If you cannot attend the onboarding and occupational health appointments as scheduled, it is important for you to notify your recruiter immediately so that alternate arrangements can be made. To help settle you into the organization, you will receive an additional four tasks in your Workday profile to be completed during your first week of work. These tasks include benefits, tax, and payment election options. Welcome to St. Peter's Health Partners. We look forward to you joining the team, and we are here to help whenever needed.